They were, you know, like the couple. They were affectionate and they were happy. A family that seemed perfect. They celebrated birthdays, they traveled, they were expecting a third child. They had way too much ahead of them, especially the kids. We met the Watts family Monday when Shanann, Bella, and Celeste disappeared from their home in Frederick. Chris Watts said he hoped they were safe. Right now it's just like, if she's vanished, like I want her back so bad. I want those kids back so bad. And then. This is uh, absolutely the worst possible outcome. The father who pleaded for his family hours earlier was in handcuffs. Tonight, Frederick police say they found two bodies they believe are Bella and Celeste. Officers have been searching property belonging to the oil and gas company Anadarko, where Chris Watts worked before getting fired Wednesday. Just 15 hours after we learned police arrested Chris Watts, he made his first appearance in court today. He will stay there. There is no bond and so far no charges. The DA says he has until Monday to file charges. Right now he's being held on suspicion of first degree murder and three counts of tampering with the body. The district attorney said the murders happen inside the Watts home. Watts has no prior criminal history in Colorado. A lot of people want to know if Watts could also face a murder charge for his unborn baby. The simple answer is no. Colorado does not recognize an unborn child literally of any, at any stage as a person for the purposes of our, our murder statute. So the easy answer is no, the father of the unborn child cannot be charged with murder r relating to the unborn child. Colorado has no fetal homicide law. Now you may remember the same debate came up in the case of Dinell Lane. She was convicted of cutting Michelle Wilkins' baby from her womb in Boulder County. Wilkins survived, her baby did not. The bill to make a fetal homicide law failed in the state legislature. Robinson says Watts could be charged with unlawful termination of a pregnancy, which is a felony. He also said, though, if Watts is convicted on three counts of murder, the other charges won't matter. Robinson says Watts would never get out of prison. Formal charges are expected next week.